I am Makery Kate and I am really excited to be working with sea salt today to show you one of my absolute favourite ways of upcycling a t-shirt. So I've got an old t-shirt here which is, un actually it's not even that old, but it's got a pen mark right across the front. So unfortunately I can't wear it anymore, however I can turn it into a necklace like this one here. It's a really, really straightforward project. All you need is a t-shirt or something made out of t-shirt fabric and a pair of scissors. And then if you'd like to add some beads on the side like I've done here, you'll just need some beads and a needle with a big eye on it as well. So what we need to start off by doing is turning the t-shirt into a really long continuous strip of t-shirt yarn. So to do that, you lay your t-shirt out in front of you like this, nice and flat. And then I usually start on the label side. So I'm gonna start on this side, take my scissors and just cut, first of all, cut off the bottom strip, the hem of the fabric. So you get rid of that bulk. So now the bottom hem has been removed. So we've got a nice clean edge. And what I'm going to do is take my scissors and I'm going to, on, starting from the label side, I'm going to cut lines across the t-shirt, but I'm going to stop about maybe six or seven centimeters from this edge. So I'm just going to have lines going across and my lines are going to measure roughly an inch in width. Try and make your cut lines as neat as you can. It doesn't matter too much, but the neater you are, the neater your t-shirt yarn will be. There we go. So I've just cut six lines across my t-shirt for now. You can carry on going all the way up to the top so you make a really, really long um, length of t-shirt yarn, but that will be plenty just for one necklace. But as you can see, we've got the cut strips like this, which are separated at one end like so, but they're still joined together at this end. So now what we need to do is a little bit of clever cutting to make this into one long continuous piece of yarn. So I'm going to open it out at the edge which is joined up so that we have this kind of pattern here. So at the edge where the t-shirt yarn is still joined together, I've opened it out flat like this. And what I'm going to do is cut diagonally, first of all, from about here up to that first, on the right, up to that first cut line on the left, like that. And what that does is it makes that first piece of yarn completely free. And then I'm just gonna keep following that diagonal cut line across to join all the pieces of yarn up. So this cut line goes to that one and then keep going. And then when you get to the last one, you just need to cut diagonally till it goes off the fabric. Like so. So now we've got one really long continuous piece of t-shirt yarn. How cool is that? Where the label is, you might want to just snip that off as close to the stitching as you can to get that out of the way. There's the other piece. Whoop. And then we need to stretch this to turn it into t-shirt yarn. So you'll see as you stretch it, kind of folds in on itself. So at the moment it's just like a cut strip of fabric, but if I stretch that, it turns it into yarn like that. So if you just stretch all the way along, you'll notice that at the um, side seams, it doesn't really fold in on itself, but don't worry, when we actually make the necklace, we can just tuck those bits on the inside so you won't really see them, you won't notice. You can pull quite tight to turn it into yarn. If you notice there are any bits that are slightly wider than others, so it's a bit wonky, you can just trim those to make it more of an even length all the way across. There we go. Okay, so that's our nice long piece, so long. So if imagine if I'd have been worked all the way up the t-shirt, I'd have had so much yarn. It's brilliant. You can do an awful lot with this, not just make these necklaces. It's, um, it's a really, really great way to use up old t-shirt fabric garments, old pajamas, anything. Kids pajamas is really good to use. Okay, so I'm gonna snip the end off because I've got a um, seam right there. So we'll get rid of that one. 
And now I'm gonna show you how to actually do this stitching to turn it into a necklace. So take one end of the yarn and let's leave about maybe 30 centimeters to the side and then start about 30 centimeters in. So what I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna take my rings off my fingers because it sometimes makes it a bit trickier. Ooh, if you've got rings on, so I'll just pop those safely to one side. So I'm going to wind the yarn around my fingers. So over, under, over, under, and then back on myself, over, under, over, under. So as you can see now, I've got one loop over each of my four fingers. I want to do that one more time, so I've got two loops over each of my four fingers. So I'm gonna come back, over, under, over, under, and then back again, over, under, over, under. There we go, so now I've got two loops on each of my four fingers. And it's so straightforward, all you need to do is move the bottom loop over the top loop and over the top of your finger for each of your fingers. So let's start over here on the little finger. One note actually is don't wind the yarn around your fingers too tightly because it just makes it a little bit trickier. Equally, you don't want it to be too loose because you'll end up with quite a, um, a loopy necklace. So take the bottom loop on your little finger, put it over the top loop and over the top of your finger. And then on the next finger along, take the bottom loop and it goes over the top. Same with the next finger. And then same with the first finger. I just usually hold this end with my thumb here just until we get going. Once you've done that, you can move the single loops which are left on your fingers all the way down to the bottom again and then take the yarn and just carry on so we need to do make again make it so that there are two loops on each finger so you go over under over under and then all the way back again so again we've got two loops again i'm going to work my way across in exactly the same way as last time i'll leave that over here so this little finger the bottom loop goes over the top same for the next finger and the next one, and then the first one. So again, then you've just got one loop left on each finger. Move them down to the bottom, and then keep working your way up in exactly the same way. So again, I've got two loops, bottom loop over the top one, and you just keep going. So I'll do a little bit more, and then I'll show you how to see how you're getting on underneath. So once you've been at it for five minutes or so, you can, underneath, you'll see the kind of finger knitting with the t-shirt yarn start to take shape. So once you're happy, you can take the end and just pull it to kind of make the stitches all find their place. It looks so great, it's so impressive. This t-shirt yarn's so brilliant because it doesn't fray. You can do so much with it. Okay, so I reckon I'm going to do another maybe Let's see, how long is that? That's about 20 centimetres long at the moment. I'm going to do about another four rows to make it probably slightly longer than this one. And then I'll show you how to cast off. Right, I am happy with the length of this now for my necklace. Of course, if you'd like it to be longer, you can just keep going. You could even have it so that it goes all the way around or even loop it round twice around your neck if you'd like to. Um, but I'm gonna call it a day for here. So once you're happy with the length, if you take your loops around your fingers and you want to take the loop that's on your index finger and pop that, move that across, so that it's on the second finger like this. So now I've got two loops on the second finger. I'm gonna take the bottom loop and put it over the top loop like so. And then again, that same loop that's now on the first, um, second finger, you're gonna move it across onto the third finger. So you've got two loops and then take the bottom one and move it over the top. And then finally move that same loop over onto your little finger and put the bottom loop over the top. And then you're left with this one loop, which is what you want to put the end of your yarn through. I'll make it slightly bigger. I'm gonna put the end of the yarn through that loop and then you can pull it tight. In fact, I'm gonna cut this because it's a bit too long. Whoop. 
I'm going to pull it through the loop and then pull it tight like so. You can tuck that end loop in if it's a little bit too long. So there we go. We've got our lovely t-shirt yarn necklace. If you've got any pieces like this with the side seams, just tuck them in so that you can't see them quite as much. You'll quite often find that there's a natural front and back of the necklace, one side that's a little bit neater than the other. I think they're both kind of okay. I think this will be the front on that one. Um, so then all that's left, you can you keep it like that and wear it as a necklace, good to go, like this. Or if you prefer, you can add a couple of beads, one to each side. So to do that, you just take your big needle, put one end of the t-shirt yarn through it, and then, oh, let's see, what colour? I think it's got to be yellow. Let's have a look. So I'm going to loop that on, thread it through, pop the yellow bead there, and then do the same on the other side. You don't need to tie a knot or anything. You can just leave that as it is. And then um, you can trim the ends of the necklace if you'd like to, these ends here, depending on how long you'd like it to be. And then just tie it in a bow round your neck and you're good to go. Wasn't that easy? Such a great project. You could even do it with children if you wanted to and an amazing way to use up a t-shirt or a piece of clothing made out of t-shirt fabric, which is past its best, which has maybe got a hole in it, got a stain in it or something like that. You get so much more wear out of this. Thank you so much for watching. If you make this yourself, we would love to see what you get up to. So please remember to share your makes and tag sea salt on anything that you put online. Um, and in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and happy making. Bye bye.